Avatar The Way of Water has made over $2 billion worldwide. This movie already made over $2 billion. And not only that, but this is the third James Cameron movie that has made over $2 billion. You had Titanic, you had the first Avatar, and now you got Avatar The Way of Water. James Cameron, that dude is rich. He's made three movies that have made over $2 billion. And also, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, has made close to $300 million worldwide. So you got two films that were released in December of last year that did pretty good. A lot of people enjoyed these films. A lot of people paid to go see these films. And between these two, Avatar The Way of Water, I enjoyed it. I thought it was okay. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, I thought that movie was great. It was really cool. It was really funny. My favorite character was The Wolf. And between these two movies, I would say Puss in Boots was better. But regardless if you like these movies or not, this is just proof. This is a lesson to be learned here. That if you make something that's fun and entertaining, then people will come to theaters to watch it. This is a lesson to all the woke activists, all the feminists, the liberals, the crazy people in Hollywood. You can no longer use the pandemic as an excuse for your failures. Disney is a prime example of this. Every time one of their movies failed, whether if it was Lightyear, Strange World, any movie that released that came out from Disney that flopped, they always used the pandemic as an excuse. Oh, it's because of the pandemic. The pandemic is why people don't come to theaters. People are scared of the pandemic. Fuck off. That excuse is laughable. Seriously, it's, it's because of the pandemic people are so scared. Like, shut up. Shut the fuck up, dude. Seriously, Spider-Man No Way Home made almost $2 billion. It was like at 1.9, I think. Top Gun Maverick made over $1 billion. The Batman almost made $1 billion. Now you got Avatar The Way of Water that made over $2 billion. You know, if you just make something that's good, then people will watch it. But no, Disney doesn't do that. All these other woke trash movie studios won't do that. They just love inserting representation and diversity. They love lecturing people about race, gender, sexuality. They make these gay movies for gay people. Like, you, you, like Disney, you guys are a disgrace. They, they will always use the pandemic excuse because they got nothing else to go for. These clowns can't accept the fact that their movies fail, so they have to use the pandemic excuse as their only option. And as a matter of fact, over here where I'm at, over here in Florida, no one cares about the pandemic. <laughs> no one's even talking about the pandemic anymore over here in Florida. Like every time I go out, whether it's in public or if I go out to eat somewhere or do shopping or go to a movie theater, no one's wearing masks. Nobody's wearing masks. No one's wearing gloves. I don't see families and little kids wearing masks or any gloves at all. Even people that are working don't wear masks. Like this pandemic is just pretty much dead now. Like I know there's still cases going on, but th th this pandemic excuse is just pathetic. Like Disney, you guys are a disgrace. Anybody that says Lightyear was good, anybody that says that Strange World was good, anyone that thinks it's okay to indoctrinate children and feed them this woke ideology, they are, they worship Satan, okay? They are not normal. They use stuff like this to break people in prison. It just sucks. <laughs> you know, Avatar The Way of Water, I'm glad it made over two billion. Puss in Boots The Last Wish is doing pretty good. And, and people gotta learn from this. If you make something that's good, then people will come to the theaters. Then people will pay to go see it. But a majority of Hollywood, they're just full of dumbasses and they'll never learn. They'll always choose woke identity politics over entertaining people. And it sucks of the reality that we live in. It just sucks. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. Give this video a like. Be sure to follow my Instagram. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.